How much dumb tax did you pay tonight when you drank alcohol? Because every time you drink alcohol, you are paying a dumb tax. Every time that you buy alcohol, you are paying a dumb tax. I'm James Swanick from the Alcohol Freedom Formula. There's some free resources for you down below to get started on your alcohol freedom journey. Listen, alcohol messes with your sleep, makes you look older than nature intended you to look, makes you irritable, makes you eat more crap food, uh, makes you stressed and anxious, keeps you stressed and anxious, uh, bleeds your wallet dry. <laughs> there is zero nutritional benefit to it whatsoever. And so every time that you drink, you are paying a dumb tax. Dumb, 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 dumb. Here's the thing. It's not just the money that you pay to buy the alcohol. It's also the lost opportunities because you're drinking alcohol. Do you have a dream for your life? Do you have a business idea? Do you want to get a promotion at work? If we look at it from purely a financial point of view here, let's just say that you really want to start a business, but you're drinking alcohol and that is keeping you numbed out. It's not inspiring you to take action. You know you should be doing it, but you're procrastinating because you're in this daze of numbing yourself with alcohol. Well, what's the opportunity cost there? You could have started the business already and already have generated tens of thousands of dollars, maybe even hundreds of thousands of dollars, but you haven't because you're using alcohol to numb yourself. So it's fair to say that even though you're, you may only be paying a certain amount of money to purchase alcohol, the effects of that is keeping you numb, keeping you stuck in procrastination. You're not taking action and because you're not taking action, you're not generating revenue for yourself from a business that you might create. Likewise, if you have a job and you can climb the corporate ladder, so to speak, or you can get a promotion, or maybe you're in sales, for example, and how much money you generate for yourself is directly proportionate to how effective and productive you are in your business. If you are drinking alcohol, I already know you're operating at only about a six out of 10 because A players do not drink alcohol. B and C and D players do, and they stay in this lethargy, this fogginess, this m muddy brain where alcohol is always like playing a part and you're always playing catch up, where you're tired and lethargic the day after, even if you didn't drink a huge amount, even if you had one or two drinks, that's enough to disrupt your sleep, which means you're not as productive and effective in your job the following day. Now, if you're operating at a six out of 10, let me give you the benefit of the doubt, even if you're operating at a seven out of 10 in efficiency and productivity in your work, and you get paid, let's say $70,000, how much would you get paid if you were operating at a nine out of 10? Would you get a 20 grand a year raise, a 30 grand a year raise? Because the difference between a six or a seven out of 10 when you're tired from drinking and a nine out of 10 when you have clarity and energy and focus and productivity and efficiency and strategy and you make things happen could potentially be tens of thousands of dollars. If you're a business owner, an entrepreneur right now and you're doing it and you have a business that does say a quarter of a million dollars in revenue and you're operating at a six out of 10, you know when you're operating at a six out of 10 and you know that your business could double its revenues this year if its leader, if its owner, i.e. you, was at the top of his or her game, operating at a nine out of 10. So your alcohol is costing you in that scenario a quarter of a million dollars in revenue each year. You see, it's not just the money that you hand over with your credit card or your cash to purchase the alcohol, it's the lost financial opportunities because you're not doing what you know you should be doing. Dumb, 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 dumb. You are paying a dumb tax. Now, you might have a business and you're like, how do I avoid paying tax? Or how do I reduce my tax liability? And you might go to a, a clever financial advisor who gives you all these great strategies and you may implement them. And they're terrific, they're great, do that. But then you're corrupting that by paying this dumb tax all the time by drinking. Because your drinking is keeping you in that brain fog. It's keeping you unclear. It's keeping you unmotivated. It's keeping you unenthusiastic. It's keeping you in a state of mediocrity, of weak or average performance. Are you a B player or a C player or do you wanna be an A player? And if you wanna be an A player, I think it's time that you had a good hard look at yourself 
and thought, what is the dumb tax that I'm paying every single day, every single week, every month and every year by purchasing this attractively packaged poison that we call alcohol? How much longer are you going to pay the dumb tax? It's great that you save tax. Maybe you've got an accountant, maybe you do your taxes yourself, maybe you're in a job and the taxes get taken out automatically, which is great. Maybe you don't even have to think about that. But then you're going and paying this dumb tax. Every time you order a wine, you buy a six pack, you buy that vodka, you buy that whatever, whatever your drink of choice is, you are paying a dumb tax. Dumb, 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 dumb. So don't be a dummy. Wake up, understand that there is a cost to your drinking. Not just the cost of purchasing the alcohol, but the lost opportunity cost. What have you missed out on? How much money could you have made if you were operating at a 9 out of 10? How much income could you have generated for yourself if you were clear-headed and not foggy? If you were energized and not lethargic? If you had strategy instead of muddiness? What's it actually cost you? How much dumb tax have you paid and how much more dumb tax are you going to pay? Stop it. Stop the dumb tax. Give up the booze. It is a waste of time and it is keeping you stuck in mediocrity. Thanks for listening to the Alcohol Free Lifestyle Podcast. I want to load you up with some free stuff right now. So if you want to go to jameswanick.com slash guide, I will send you my Quit Alcohol Guide, which has helped six-figure entrepreneurs and top professionals reduce or quit drinking. You can also text the word quit guide to the number 44222 if you're in the US, of course. It doesn't really work anywhere outside of the US, but if you're in the US on your mobile phone and you'd like that guide, text the word quit guide to the number 44222, or you can go to jameswanick.com slash guide. If you'd like to schedule a free 15 minute call with one of my top coaches, just an exploratory call to see if or how we can help you, then you can go to jameswanick.com slash schedule, or you can text the word project 90 to the number 44222 if you're listening in the US on a mobile phone. That's jameswanick.com slash schedule, or you can text the word project 90, that's one word, project 90, to the number 44222. Feel free to send me a direct message over on my Instagram account, which is at James Swanick. You can also watch video episodes of this podcast and a series of other educational videos on my YouTube channel, which is James Swanick One, or you can direct message me on Facebook at James Swanick Official. And finally, a request. Would you please now write a short review of the podcast inside of the Apple Podcast app on your phone or on iTunes on your desktop? Would you please give the show five stars and write a quick one or two sentence review? This will help the show get in front of even more listeners, potentially transforming someone's life. You can rate and review the show inside of your Apple podcast app on your phone or over on iTunes on your desktop. Thank you so much and I'll catch you next time.